Some French commentators here have compared this to a, a historic step in 1995 when Jacques Chirac uh, lifted a taboo about French state complicity uh, in the Veldiv roundup of Jews in 1942. Uh, and so some commentators see this as a really huge step uh, by Macron with the words that he's using when he's mentioning a system of torture. And certainly Macron's gesture, it goes well beyond previous presidents. Uh, Nicolas Sarkozy didn't really want to get involved with these questions about the past. He was very much looking at the future of the Franco-Algerian relationship. So his approach was sort of essentially let sleeping dogs lie. Um, François Hollande went further. He said that Maurice Audin had not escaped. So he, con he contradicted the official version of events. Uh, but Macron has gone much further, not only by recognizing that Audin was tortured, but also saying that torture was part of a system. So this is really a sign that uh, something has changed in uh, French political culture about the way that you can talk about this, this, uh, this period of history. Yes, clearly Audin wasn't the only person who was subjected to torture on, on the part of uh, French soldiers. So just talk to us a little bit about what this means for other victims. Well, uh, as, as far as torturers are concerned, there's always the question of how far down the food chain you go with, you know, with former perpetrators. Um, what I'm going to say is not directly comparable, of course, but if you think of the event I mentioned earlier, the Veldiv, um, individual French policemen who arrested Jews, they've not been prosecuted. So once you say that the state was responsible for something, it becomes quite difficult to pinpoint blame on a particular person. And some might say that's a convenient way of going about it. Um, in the case of Algeria, it was the French parliament that gave the government power to restore order in Algeria in 1956. So who's ultimately responsible? Is it parliament? Is it the government? Uh, is it local officials in Algeria who applied the decree? Apportioning blame is very difficult, and it's a political minefield to this very day. Uh, note that Macron's emphasis is not on trials. It's not on uh, bringing torturers into a courtroom and things like that. It's very much about reconciliation and openness, uh, uh, perhaps more opening of archives, more access to sensitive information and thing like that. Um, obviously, some people will say, well, how can you have reconciliation without actual justice being done in a legal way? Uh, that's obviously a whole other discussion. But I think for now, I get the impression Macron just wants to kickstart a process where people start talking about this period more openly, and then who knows where it could ultimately lead.